What are y'all doing? Are you giving a massage? Hmm. When we introduced him to his little fluffy puppy, he fell in love. He kind of treats him like that's his little baby. You can often see Hercules reaching out and touching Benny, and he'll groom him. And Benny loves all of that, really. In the natural world, a dog and a raccoon don't typically get along. <laughs> but they're just the best little buddies. It was like that ever since I rescued Hercules. Hey, little guy. I'm not sure if this is a male or a female. I got a call one morning. There was an injured raccoon in someone's driveway. It was just a really sick looking raccoon that could not move. I've been involved in wildlife rehab for almost 12 years. So we immediately took him to the vet. And that's where we learned that he had a spinal cord injury from likely being hit by a car. But I took him home and we slowly began the treatment plan. Are you just relaxing? And it took a couple of weeks for him to let his body heal. And he was able to take steps again, which was just incredible. Come here. Are you standing? When he was able to start walking again, he wanted to play. So we got Benny for Hercules to have a little buddy that would be the right size for him. And I was a little worried at first, but it was love at first sight. He just immediately wanted to reach out and just squeeze him and just love on him. They lay together, they play together. He gets Hercules moving. And I think he's really happy to have a little friend. When they started to hang out together, it was unbelievable. Benton initiated coming up to Boone. He wanted to stick with him. I set Boone down and he'll immediately roll over to Benton. Boone is definitely more happy with him because when he was the little tiny baby, he needed so much attention. A lady found him on the ground and brought him to us. And then our vet diagnosed him with cerebellar hypoplasia. He will wobble and roll over because of the lack of coordination. The hardest part was figuring out how he could get more independent. And then the uh, zip line has been wonderful for him. He gets in it in a harness and that helped him be able to move better. He immediately started jumping up and down with it. He's got a big friendship with most dogs, but Benton is his favorite. Benton helps Boone climb all over him. And emotionally, he keeps him engaged. It's a sweet, sweet friendship. When I saw him playing with the puppy, I couldn't believe it's real. They were zooming and chasing each other. I wondered, does Diddles even know he's a raccoon? He wrestles them for hours. That's his favorite thing. I thought, what's next? Is he gonna start barking? My son Trey and his girlfriend were driving on the highway when they found Diddles. He was covered in porcupine quills. As soon as Trey approached Diddles, he stuck his tiny hands out and started making this chattering sound. It's almost as if Diddles knew he was going to be saved. So they wrapped him in a blanket and took him to get help. It 
took a few months for Diddle's health to come right. But emotionally, he was fine in no time. Here he comes. He won't survive in the wild, but we give him as much freedom as we can. Diddle sees me as his friend. My kids are away at university, so I spend most of the time with him. But Diddles is especially fond of Cinnamon. He adores her. His eyes just light up as soon as she walks into her room. He also loves holding her foot when he's relaxing. Aww. It's so cute, my eyes start to water just thinking about it. I thought we rescued a raccoon, but turns out we rescued a whole puppy. If you are rescuing or thinking of adopting an exotic animal, please make sure to contact professionals and do your research so that they can have the best life possible.